of Satmar, Zecha Sadik Vekadus Bracha, we know that he rebuilt Judaism after the war in, in Am Yisrael, in America. In one of his uh, agudot, in one of his conventions, he got up and he was speaking about Sani'ut. How important it is, not only ladies, you know, people think Sani'ut is only ladies. Sani'ut also applies to men. How they talk, what they wear, you know, how they slick their hair back, or. Sani'ut also, the Zalachot applies to men also. So he was talking about Sani'ut and how important it is to take care of Sani'ut. In, this in the middle of this convention, we have one guy stands up, Rabbi, you're old fashioned, do me a favor, you're in America. Maybe this is what happened pre war, but we're in America here, Rabbi, everything changed. Rabbi Rabbi Yitzhak Hutner, Allah wa Shalom, stands up and he says, I protest. This rabbi talking against the Rebbe of Satmar. I protest it. And what you did is wrong. This rabbi, this Rebbe of Satmar knows what he's talking about. And who are you? Who are you to stand up now and be maha'a? Who are you to stand up now and go against this rabbi? And he says, I'm protesting. And I'll tell you why I'm protesting. We know Noah, he takes all the animals. And he's dealing with the animals for one year. It so happened to be, that he was late in feeding the lion a few minutes. And what happened? The lion bites Noah. And ach Noah. He says, ach. And Noah ends up limping. And the question is, Noah, come on. Noah was dealing with the animals for one year, Rabbi So okay, he was late in feeding the lion for a few minutes. He has to be bitten by a lion. So Rabbi Hutner says, yes. Because when it comes to dealing with kings, you have to be very careful. The lion is the king of the animals. The rabbi is the king of Am Yisrael. When it comes to talking about a rabbi, you have to be very, very careful. And that is why I protest.